All right, with this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a robot voice. A robot voice that sounds something like this voice if you want something deeper. Or perhaps something like this if you want a bit lighter. So here's the clip I'm gonna add Lesson to. four. Lesson four. Sounds just like me normally. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my effects panel, wherever you have your effects panel, and you wanna search for analog delay. Take your analog delay and drag it onto the clip that you want to edit, and then go up to your effects control. Let's mute these other layers. So you go to your effects control and go to the analog delay that you just added, click edit, and what here, there's actually a robot voice default one. So just select the robot voice. You can leave it at the defaults. What I do is I'll take the trash here and I'll drop it to around 80. And the delay I'll drop to around 20. I don't want to put too much delay on it. So um, that usually seems to work for me. Play with a little bit and see what works good for you. What's nice about it, when you're in here, you can potentially play Lesson it. Lesson four. And notice already it's a bit robot -y sounding. And if I can change the delay maybe to 100. Lesson, Lesson four. four. Notice we get that real echoey delay. And once again, just kind of find what works for you. This is what I like for mine. Close that. Next effect we're going to add is flanger. Drag and drop it. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to leave it right at the defaults. And the last one I'm going to do is pitch shifter. This is really where that voice comes from. And the reason why I save this one to last is because I want to get all my effects on here first and then decide what type of a robot voice I'm going to go with. So for example, if I take my semitone and I drop it to around minus five and my sense and I drop that to around minus 50, Notice what it sounds like. Lesson four, Tiger Team. See, it's kind of got that really uh, deep Tiger Team. Versus if I change this to, say, plus five. Lesson four, Tiger Team. It gives you that kind of um, higher pitched voice, the more uh, robotic of coming from a computer versus a robot kind of thing. And that's the reason why I save my pitch shifter for last because it's deciding how I really want that to sound. Another thing what I'll do here is I'll switch this to my precision to low precision. Lesson four. Lesson four, Tiger Team. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, those are the three effects, analog delay, flanger, and pitch shifter. Tweak them as you like them, and then you'll get your robot voice.